Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. We're in Coldstream, British Columbia, and we're just going to drive through uh, the main area here and follow along right through Vernon and come out the other end just to the point where you join the highway north of Vernon. So Coldstream has got uh, a number of parks and that, lots of good hiking and stuff in uh, Cal Lake Park and there's a little park here on the left here as well. And this, um, there's a creek that runs through here and it joins up with Kalmelka Lake. Uh, just close to close to the beach and that not that far from where we'll be driving by quite often in the springtime this area floods to the left there in the lower parts as we get, come along here it gets pretty low really nice homes in that in there uh, lots of lakefront homes Cow Lake's a really nice lake. It's got that turquoise -y kind of color to it. Yeah, so if you turn there, that'll take you to uh, Cow Lake Park. Actually, that might be the park I was thinking of. I said it was back there further, but yeah, this is this is the park here. There's a, a really nice beach up here as well, right on the road, and parking. We got a big parking area on on the uphill side here, on the right hand side. Down here, just a little bit. So that road there, you turn there, that'll take you to uh, that park as well. And a lot of really kind of nice areas. And There's mountain biking in the park and of course hiking, walking around. Uh, you see cactuses. There was a mountain goat hanging around in there like 10 years ago. I don't know where he came from, but you know, it's not really the typical terrain for them, but he was hanging around in there and um, you'll see rattlesnakes occasionally on the trail. They'll just pay attention. Don't go trudging through the, the grass or anything. You might get surprised. So there's a big boat launch here too on the left if you turn down that road. This is a pub and then the beach is immediately after it. Just past these trees here. So that whole area on the left is beach and on the right you can see there's a crosswalk here that's where the parking is but this beach is uh, quite nice and they comb it every night or every early in the morning before you get anybody gets out there so it's kind of clean and flat looking every uh, every day if you turn left there you can go up towards uh, the college Okanagan College and uh, the highway that'll take you to Kelowna. There's a couple different ways. This road right here where the light is, that's uh, relatively new, maybe last 10 years. And that's the main road now to get up to the highway from here. They put that in, there never used to be anything there. A couple camping spots here on the, on the left hand side. I think this is where we change from Coldstream to Vernon, right here. And I changed the name of the road to Kalmelka Lake Road instead of Kalmelka Road.
on the right up on this hill and uh, a little bit further down it's kind of the industrial area for for Vernon a lot of businesses up there that are yeah more like Acklands and um, lots of big tire shops and electronics shops and radio places and welding shops and truck shops yeah there's lots of stuff up there yeah if you turn up here that's how you get up there turn to the right we're gonna keep going straight we're gonna join up with highway number six and that's the highway we were on in the previous videos we came from the cusp crossed over uh, Lower Arrow Lake and uh, drove through Jerryville Lumbee and uh, turned off to go through Coldstream so if you go to the right at the, not this light the next light that's how you get to uh, Lumbee that might go through too, I don't know. Probably does. Kind of a shopping center on the left. Uh, I think there's a movie theater in there and grocery store and a few other things. I think there's a bank there now, a couple of restaurants. Some nice houses up on the hill there, kind of look down on this. So if you keep going, this is Highway 6, so if you keep going straight, that'll take you right down to kind of the main intersection. I think it's called Polson Park and that's uh, that would be kind of the main intersection below the hospital and all that but we're gonna turn to the right and go down um, kind of I guess would be the secondary kind of road through town 27th Street so we're gonna bypass the downtown core by about two blocks, something like that. On the left is Okanagan Spring Brewery where they do uh, yeah, a number of different kinds of beer that you you buy in that on the right. It's quite an old building I think. I've seen some pictures. They got these steps out in front and every year I think it was a I think it was a thing where they would uh, have people take pictures there after their graduation and that. I think it was that. I think it was here. I could be thinking of a different town but I think I remember seeing some old pictures. So this is uh this is 32nd Avenue. If you made a left here, that'll take you right through the old kind of main street uh, downtown that'll also eventually cross the, the highway coming from Kelowna. A 
that's Highway 97. Don't know if I mentioned that. A couple of schools around here, high school and elementary school. There's a few character kind of buildings in that. If you were to go to the right, there's a subdivision up the hill and there are some quite um, quite old homes up there, like they were a bit of history in uh, Vernon. It was one of the one of the areas that was uh, settled um, quite early on for the Okanagan. And they had those uh, paddle wheelers like they did in um, lakes in the Kootenays that we went past, Kootenay Lake, Harrow Lakes, um, Slocan and that, there was, uh, all those lakes have paddle wheelers or stern wheelers on them. And the Okanagan had uh, a number of them as well. So Vernon was uh, kind of the end of the lake where they had um, the rail lines going right down there. And I, I think it's a, they were been mainly uh, transporting fruit in that. So. And of course, probably other things coming the other direction, but. Of course, Okanagan Lake uh, goes all the way down past Kelowna, and you can get right to Penticton that way. It's quite a long lake. Quite a bit of traffic today. Time it, time it just right, you'll end up in a little bit of traffic. Pretty minor for uh, most big cities, but uh, yeah, this is kind of about as bad as it gets, really. So one of the things that's quite a draw for the area is Silver Star Mountain and it's relatively close to town and uh, of course in the winter time you're going to have a lot of uh, things like cross country skiing, downhill skiing, snowboarding, snowmobiling, all kinds of stuff like that and there's uh, yeah you know there's a quite a village up there and that accommodations lots of restaurants that stuff but uh, in the summertime, it's also really popular uh, downhill mountain biking and I think there's some cross country trails as well. They use the, uh, a lot of the skiing trails. So if you were to go to the right here at this light, that's gonna take you up, up to Silver Star. And I don't know, it's not that far, maybe, maybe 15, 20 minutes, something like that to the top. Doesn't seem like it takes very long. And then on the left, you see that gas station? That's where the uh, big mall is in Vernon. And, you know, the bay and uh, save on that sort of thing. And there's a Canadian tire there now. So this is a pretty busy spot, usually. And there's a lot of houses and subdivisions up on the way to the actual ski hill.
much more shopping and and mall type stuff on the right and then on the left uh, up here at the intersection stuff that way as well it's quite a busy little spot but uh, this will be where we'll end the video just up ahead here uh, if you like this kind of thing think about subscribing I've been doing this for a year now two videos a week for a year this is today marks the anniversary of that so we'll carry on do some more stuff this uh, this spring and summer and uh, save you some gas money I'll, I'll go out and do the driving around I'd like to thank everybody for watching and I'd like to thank all those who have subscribed and some of you have been around almost the whole year here I should also say appreciate the comments um, some people know er these areas a lot better than I do and local knowledge is always nice to hear or if you have some history on an area that I go to always appreciate you adding if you know something or correct me if I'm wrong so I'll catch you on the next one